dreamer. Sit back and relax. I'll take you to your next dream. In conclusion to the story class, the two starstruck lovers were encapsulated within their unmarked graves at the behest of their own frivolous attempts to enact their own nondescript interpretations of what humans would call love. The tragedy of which becomes ocular when one takes heed of the obvious reality that this was mere infatuation. I... Very well, students. Ensure that you hearken well, that your minds remain firm in remembrance of your essay. I shall collect it on the morrow. Why do you linger? Nay, I refer to the inconsequential spider on the wall. <sighs> Rest assured, dear student, that I find the crassness of your ignorant question to be equally unamusing. Enough. These fruitless debates of yours are beginning to stipple my irritation. What do you want? You carry a burden on your chest. I would be remiss if I did not observe your attempt, albeit pitiful, to construct your language in a manner which I might consider to be above average. Pray tell, what is it that burdens you so? You believe yourself to possess a crush of kinds? Oh, please. This is hardly the burden you believe it to be. Twould seem in your oblivious mind you've deluded yourself into thinking your infatuation to be subtle. My dear human student, I have likely noticed, as you put it, before you yourself could have even comprehended your own thoughts on the matter. How? Why? By the words you utter, of course. What do I mean? Ah, the entailations of my Phrasing refer more so to the primitivism of the language we indulge upon now. Yes. As you know, the human tongue, while not my language of origin, has become the predominant, widely selected, and spoken language for the mentally impoverished masses of the world. My language, on the other hand, graces me with the enlightenment to read the souls of other creatures. When I was but a young whelp, I often found the human language to be guttural and insulting to force out of my ashamed tongue. But alas, I have since learned to accept my fate regarding it. Nonetheless, I still find myself within the sensation that you would, if you were forced to converse with a toddler of your species. <laughs> it matters not. I don't particularly mind. A conversation is still a conversation. 
I still find beauty in it, regardless of its simplicity. My language? You wish to be enlightened to its meaning. Forgive me, but to even insinuate that you could so much as understand a syllable of my language is laughable at best, and insulting at worst. Mm, you're serious. All right. If you're insistent on learning my language, I shall first have to grace your mind with the complexity of its majesty. For you see, dear student, a mere utterance of a minuscule syllable is enough to translate into an entire novel in the tongue of man. Do not waste your limited human lifespan with attempting and failing to learn my method of speech. For I have lived a super eon, and while still young by the standards of my kind, to me, you are nothing more than an insect to you. No, I did not say I reject your confessions, my dear student. For while I live far longer than you can comprehend, I mind not spending the rest of a human's life with them. I have done so several times before. To say that I reject you would be inaccurate. By all means, take all the time you need to consider your position. Despite my mockery of your species, I will admit your soft, supple bodies make for an excellent source of comfort when engaging in typical nightly activities. <sighs> yes, I mean cuddling. You need not stoop low and apologize. I merely desire to grasp a more sophisticated conversation with you, my dear. Tis that which has me on edge regarding your capabilities as a partner. If you insist, I shall teach you but a single word of my language. If thou can grasp thy lips around the phrasing of this word, you may just capture my heart. This is what I desire you to caress my sharpened ears with, utilizing your vocal cords. It will take long to grasp the meaning. However, the precise phrasing will become clearer the more you learn. The meaning? Huh. In your tongue, there's obviously no direct translation. Yet, I may be able to assist you with your understanding by simplifying and lessening the process. <clears throat> In the echoing chambers of the primordial realm, where dragonfire meets dragonfire, and the cosmos reverberates with the resonance of ancient roars, I, in awe, acknowledge your majestic presence. As fellow beings of majestic aura, we share a kinship that spans epochs, a shared heritage etched in the canals of time itself. In your iridescent eyes, I see the reflections of the cosmos, a testament to the grandeur of draconic lineage. Your wisdom, the beacon that illuminates the intricacies of the arcane, 
resonates with the harmonies of the cosmic spheres. The thunderous beats of my wings synchronize in symphony that reverberates across dimensions, a hearkening to the power and grace of dragonkind. In this shared realm of scales and fire, I find an infatuation that transcends the boundaries of mortal comprehension. It is a desire that echoes through the roars of ages past, a longing that binds us in dragonic kinship, united souls in a universe woven from stardust and dragonfire. It would seem we've both acquiesced to becoming carried away with my approach at translating. I may indulge you to encourage me to see such fruitless and long-winded ramblings in the future, lest we both find ourselves stupefied at the sudden awakening on this cold, hard, and unforgiving floor. Ah, you've noticed. I can affirm your suspicion. There is a slight risk when utilizing the dragon tongue for one to become immensely fatigued merely due to exposure. The same risk hardly befalls yours truly. However, as all dragon souls are immaculately tapped within the primal mainstream of all souls, there is a tremendous concern to have regarding potential spread from your soul to my own. Apologies are of little consequence to me here. You are unable to mitigate your effect on me any more than you can prevent your own heartbeat. As a precaution, perhaps it is necessary to study on your own merit. Though, Take heed and ensure that you are in a location where it would be appropriate for you to doze off and slumber. You can refer to learning Dragon Tongue as an extra credit activity. <clears throat> oh, and here. I took the liberty of generating a personal memoir of my own account during our interaction. Perhaps you'd find benefit in listening to it a few additional times in order to maximize the potency of the intricacies of my pronunciations. Well, I suppose I've taken much of your time already. Fare thee well, my dearest human. And for what it's worth to you, good luck. I expect you claim your prize on the morrow.